Good morning all of you. Today we are starting with All India Akash Test Series Medical 2020. This is for RM. Test number 1, code E and F, Chemistry, conducted on 13th of October 2019. So class, let's start with the very first question, which is question number 46. Class, let's start the very first question of chemistry. If the mass ratio of helium to nitrogen in a container is 2 is to 1, then the ratio of their moles will be, the given options are 2 is to 1, 4 is to 1, 7 is to 1 and 14 is to 1. So class in this question, first of all we are given with the mass ratio of helium to nitrogen which is 2 is to 1 and we have to calculate the ratio of their moles. So first we have to calculate the number of moles of helium and nitrogen. So let's write number of moles of helium which is equals to 2x upon 4. Since the molar mass of helium is 4, next we have to analyze the number of moles of N2 which is x upon 28. Since the molar mass of N2 is 28, so let's find out the ratio of moles which is equals to number of moles of helium upon number of moles of nitrogen gas which is equals to 2x upon 4 divided by x upon 28 which is equals to 14 is to 1. So class we have clearly seen that the correct answer for this question is option number 4. Plus, let's move to our next question, which is question number 47. Plus, let's read the question. 4 gram of magnesium is reacted with 8 grams of oxygen. Moles of MgO produced in the reaction is. Plus, this question belongs to stoichiometry and one of the most frequently asked question in need. For this question, first we have to write a balanced chemical equation. So, I'm writing 2 magnesium reacts with O2 to gives 2MgO. Class, in this question, we are given with 4 grams of magnesium and 8 grams of oxygen. So, we have to analyze that what number of moles of magnesium and oxygen are given in the reaction. So, let's find out number of moles of Mg which is equals to 4 upon 24. We are already aware that the molar mass of magnesium is 24 which is equals to 1 upon 6. Let's find out number of moles of oxygen which is equals to 8 upon 32. That means 1 upon 4 since we are aware that the molar mass of O2 is 32. Plus next using this equation we can analyze that 2 moles of Mg requires 1 mole of O2. So class we can say that 1 upon 6 moles of magnesium requires 1 upon 2 into 1 upon 6 moles of oxygen which is equals to 1 upon 12. But the given number of moles of oxygen is 1 upon 4. So we can clearly see that oxygen is present in axis. As a result we can say that the limiting reagent in the reaction is magnesium. And since we are aware that the amount of product formed in any reaction depends upon the amount of the limiting reagent. So class, we can clearly see that the amount of magnesium oxide formed in this reaction depends upon the amount of magnesium present. And since the number of moles of magnesium and MgO is same, so we can clearly relate that the number of moles of MgO formed in this reaction will also be equals to 1 upon 6. So class the correct answer for this question is option number 3. Class let's move to our next question which is question number 48. Let's read the reaction class. Which among the following has maximum number of molecules? The given options are 22 gram carbon dioxide. The next is 40 gram SO3. 
the next is 10 gram CH4 and the last option is 20 gram NO2. Class, in this question we are given with four cases and we have to analyze that in which case maximum number of molecules are present. So we have to analyze number of molecules and we have to use a formula. I am writing it. Number of molecules is equals to number of moles into Avogadro's number. So we can clearly see that we have to find out number of moles in each of the given cases. So I am starting with the very first case which is 22 gram of CO2. So class let's identify the number of moles of CO2 which is equals to 22 upon 44 which is equals to 0 0.5 moles. Class let's move to our next option which is 40 grams of SO3. Let's find out the number of moles of SO3 which is equals to 40 upon 80 since the molar mass of SO3 is 80 which is again equals to 0 0.5. Let's move to the next option 10 gram of CH4. So number of moles of CH4 will be equals to 10 upon 16 which is equals to 0 0.625. Class the last option is 20 grams of NO2. So the number of moles of NO2 will be equals to 20 upon 46 since the molar mass of NO2 is 46 which is equals to 0 0.43. So class we can clearly see that 10 grams of CH4 has maximum number of moles and since number of molecules is directly proportional to number of moles we can say that the maximum number of molecules is present in 10 gram of CH4. So the correct answer for this question is option number 3. Class let's move to our next question which is question number 49. Energy of a photon of electromagnetic radiation having wavelength 600 angstrom. Class in this question we have to calculate energy of a photon of electromagnetic radiation in which wavelength of electromagnetic radiation is already given which is 600 angstrom and the value of Planck's constant is already given which is 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second and also the speed of light which is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second is already given. So we have to use a formula to calculate energy. The formula is energy is equal to hc upon lambda. So we can put the values of hc and lambda which is 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 34 multiplied by 3 into 10 to the power 8 upon 600 into 10 to the power minus 10 since angstrom means 10 to the power minus 10 meter. So class let's solve the question. The value is 3.3 .3 into 10 to the power minus 18 joules. So class this is very clear that the correct answer for this question is option number 1. Class let's move to our next question which is question number 50. Let's read the question class. The orbital angular momentum of an electron in 4s orbital is. The given options are under root 20 h cross h cross the next is 0. And the last option is under root 6 h cross. So class for this question first of all we need to know the formula of orbital angular momentum denoted by capital L which is equals to under root L L plus 1 h cross. Since class we are aware that for s orbital the value of L will be 0. So the value of orbital angular momentum becomes 0. So class the correct answer for this question is option number 3. Class let's move to our next question which is question number 51. 